One of my favorite memories is probably the very, the very, very first meeting. And I expected that there were going to be about eight people in the room. When there were about 200. It made for a lot of interesting conversation and a lot of interesting meetings. Uh, it was nothing but, but a lot of fist fights. There were financial challenges. We weren't bringing in enough work to necessarily pay our bills. Stimulate, motivate, educate your students. The early CRRC educational program involved some uh, interesting uh, uh, activities. Art Rosenfeld is the godfather of energy efficiency and in the 1970s switched his attention from physics to energy efficiency. He's the man behind technologies like the fluorescent light bulb and higher standards for refrigerators which have dramatically reduced their energy use. In the 1980s, Art realized that a very simple thing to do was to keep the surfaces of buildings cooler in hot places. And he was a big proponent of a cool roof. Initially, the organization was developed primarily to solve requirements that were being proposed in the building codes in California that would require an organization like the Cool Roof Rating Council to exist. When the CRC was first being conceptualized 20 plus years ago, I think the grand goal was to address the urban heat islands that were happening in some of the major cities, which has public health implications as well as environmental implications. And this is really the, the, the agency that's bringing everyone together to say, let's agree on how we're measuring the, the impact on the urban heat island effect. CRRC comes into this because they provide the ratings that help consumers identify what is a cool roof. The Cool Roof Rating Council has an accredited established program that deals in facts, it deals in data. They provide an accredited database that gives information that the industry needs. I've been answering the cool line for many years. The cool line was created to provide the public with easy access to answers about cool roofs. We're a non-biased entity and we're providing a service to consumers, architects, contractors, you name it, and it's they know that they can utilize this resource and select whatever product suits their needs. Dave Ridwitz and I then got the bright idea, well, why don't we get ANSI status? Well, by 2009, we did that. By 2010, we produced our first energy standard and have successfully gotten into the National Model Energy Codes as well as other entities. And so why choose the CRRC? Well, you choose the CRRC because, and people recognize this, they're the technical experts in measuring surface radiative properties. So they know that they're getting the right information and the right values. Over the last 20 years or so, there probably hasn't been a, a single change in the roofing industry more dramatic than what the CRC has created. We didn't think of roofs as being a part of our energy savings features of buildings. And all of a sudden, you know, they, they became a, a critical component of how we design buildings for energy efficiency. All of the news, all of the uh, science indicates that we've got to change our behavior some. The cool roof idea that will help improve the future of the planet, so I think it's important to participate. I've been involved since the early days. I was the chair in the early 2000s. I think the CRRC is very unique in the fact that it was formed by code officials and those of us in industry. We have plenty of interested parties. We have lots of opportunities. 
So the CRC has both uh, the board of directors, which helps, you know, obviously drive the organization, but also a, a very involved technical committee. We have a lot of PhDs on that group, all the different test labs, all of the industry segments are, are represented there. And that is the group that really is a clearinghouse for a lot of the, the research and information that makes its way to the board to help influence policy decisions made by the CRC. In addition to that is the development of a link with the Energy Star program as a certifying body. It gives us more credibility to be able to say that we are an Energy Star certification body. Everybody knows the Energy Star labels and being able to administer the program for them is a real feather in our cap. I think it's very important for this work to carry on because the work that we do has a major impact on energy usage and the mitigating global heat island impacts. One of the goals that have come out of our most recent strategic planning is to look into ways to expand internationally. The need for cool roofs is so clear. In India, for example, where there's almost no need for heating in buildings but lots and lots of cooling, there's an obvious need for what the CRRC can do. The CRC is working with the Global Cool Cities Alliance. They've been doing work in South Africa. They're trying to put in cool roofing in buildings because there aren't any air conditioning and this is really improving quality of life for people. Everybody wants to leave a better world for the next generation, right? And I think that just continuing to drive the conversation about energy efficient measures and parts of the building envelope is really important and it feels good to be a part of that.